Hi, I'm Brian. I wrote CodeKit, and here's how you use the app to combine and minify scripts. I've got a really simple project with two scripts here. I'll go ahead and select grand.javascript. Over here on the right in the inspector pane, you can see that my output style is set to minified, which means when I save the file, CodeKit's going to minify it for me. Well, here's grand.js in my editor. It's really simple, so I'll come over here and hit command S. And sure enough, there we go. There's that minified file, grand-ck.js. Now this suffix you can change in the project settings, but it is required so that we never have the possibility of overwriting the original file with the minified one. That would be really bad. So I'll just select this real fast and hit spacebar, and sure enough, it is minified. We're on the right track. Now, the problem is that grand.js here is going to use jQuery, and I need to include jQuery on my page before I can start using all of that library's functions. Well, normally what I would do is in my index.html file, I would add a script tag that brings in jQuery.js, and then I would add a second script tag that brings in grand.js. Well, the problem is that that's two HTTP requests to a server, which slows down my page load a little bit. It would be great if I could just combine jQuery and grand into one JavaScript file and make only one request. Fortunately, that's really easy to do with CodeKit. With grand.js selected here, I'll go ahead and choose the imports tab so I can see what files this one imports. There's none right now, but I've already installed jQuery using Bower, and it's right here. So to add it to grand.js, I'll just drag and drop like that. And what I'm telling CodeKit is I want jQuery prepended to the beginning of grand.javascript. So now when I save this file over here in my editor, it's minifying it. We should see if we open this file that it is. Sure enough, here's all of jQuery. And at the very end is going to be our little document ready function handler right there. Now, minified files are great, but to, to use them in your browser, you really want a source map. That's easy to do too. All I need to do is select grand.js, come back to the options and choose minified plus source map. Now, when I process this file, CodeKit's going to create the minified output file, but we also get a map file that our browser will use to show us the original source instead of the minified script. Now, dragging and dropping like this to add imports is one way to do it. I'll just go ahead and drag this out to delete it. But there is a second way, and that's using in file statements. So if I come into grand.js here and simply paste this statement at CodeKit prepend, and then the relative path from this file to wherever the file that I want to import is. Now, notice that I've commented this out because it's not valid JavaScript, but CodeKit is still going to see this line when it saves the file, and it will still bring in jQuery and prepend it to the beginning of grand.js, just like it did when I did this with drag and drop. Except now in the app, I'll see that this is an in-file statement, which means I can't just drag this out of here. If I want to delete it, I have to actually go to the file and remove this line. Now, CodeKit will remember which imports you've set up with drag and drop. It stores that information in the project settings file. But having these lines in the file makes it a little more clear exactly how your project is structured. You can use either way. Either one will do the exact same thing. There is no limit to the number of files that you can chain together using prepends and appends. For example, I've added a couple extra JavaScripts to the project, and I'll go ahead and drag sub1 to prepend it to grand.js, and I'll do the same thing with sub2 and sub3. If I'd like to change the order that these files are prepended in, all I need to do is drag up or down to reorder. And if I decide, hey, sub2 should really be appended, not prepended, I'll just drag it down to that section like this. Now, if I'm using in-file statements, I can't reorder things just by dragging and dropping in CodeKit. I would need to actually change the order of the statements in the files themselves, and then the app would update to reflect that change right here. Now, if you're writing CoffeeScript, the workflow is almost identical. Here I've got something.coffee selected, and my compiling options appear on the right, except this time the output style option relates to the coffee compiler. My options for minifying the output appear right here, so I'll just check minify, compile JavaScript, and generate a source map. Now, new in CodeKit 2.0, you can actually prepend and append JavaScript directly to CoffeeScript files. So in something.coffee, I might write CoffeeScript that uses some jQuery functions, and I can bring jQuery in just like this, drag and drop. CodeKit will prepend jQuery directly to my CoffeeScript file, escape all of jQuery in backticks, and then write the entire output to a minified JavaScript file. The only thing to be aware of is that if you have a script that uses backticks, those will be removed by CodeKit during this process. 
And of course, if I prefer using in-file statements, those are also available in CoffeeScript. I just comment the line out. Otherwise, it's exactly like it was in JavaScript. And that's all there is to it. That's how easy it is to combine and minify scripts with CodeKit. Thanks for using the app and take care.